So, because Ho'okana Beach was just so beautiful, and I'd already decided to stay one night, and then because I'd gotten gifted 20 bucks a couple days prior, I just decided to spend another day and stay another night. Um, I needed to repair my tent, I wanted to repack my pack up, and I got to check out a couple cool tropical birds, and uh, yeah, I got to enjoy another, another Hawaiian sunset. Well, here, take a look. I've um, got all my stuff all laid out. I'm repacking up everything because I'm trying to get it all set up and ready to go so that way I can like, get up at like 4 in the morning and try to make 23 miles, I think. 22 miles to Manuka. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got my tent. I cleaned it out. Made sure I got all the little holes repaired. I'm not going to unzip this, but you can see back there. Uh, a little patch there. There's a little patch up front somewhere around in here too. And uh, yeah, I put my I'm gonna put my put my leather jacket in the very bottom because like how often am I gonna need it here? I'm in Hawaii. And I'm gonna put some of the heavier stuff on the bottom and yeah, pretty much. Oh, and get everything all set up so that way, in case it does rain or when it does rain, I'm all right. As long as it's uh, warm, I'm not cold, I can handle being wet. I just don't want to be it be wet and cold. And that's that's my biggest fear, because cold hurts. But, uh, as long as I can protect my clothes from getting wet and my electronics from getting wet, I have the umbrella, I can hide underneath it, because it's, it's pretty decent size. It's decent enough to help keep me. And then, um, my... the awesome guy I met up with yesterday gave me um, gave me some trash bags some really good heavy duty um, big awesome trash bags that uh, are gonna help me keep my stuff yeah from getting wet so so greatly appreciated man I am so greatly appreciated of that I think I'm basically gonna get every little piece of gear exactly as I need it just before it uh, so, so I don't have it too rough um, I know somebody had mentioned that they were going to get me a, a hammock, and so I'd already done gave them the address, and so I really can't complain. Yeah, as long as I get everything I need as I need it, uh, what else could I ask for? What more could I ask for? And look at this view. And yeah, I could have put my tent up out there, but I kind of wanted to be back here so that way, you know, do my thing and not be... Uh, not be distracted by noise and whatnot. But yeah, time for me to get back to finish and get packed up. I'm gonna have some lunch and then work on some videos and just chill for the rest of the day. All right, guys, much love, much peace. And here's another beautiful night in Hawaii. Wow. And then, due to not being able to receive my $10 tent tag deposit back until like nine o'clock that morning i wasn't able to leave at four like i wanted to and i had 23 miles to get so i decided well hey i might as well use the time and i added the hashtag fibro sucks to my backpack and then i also decided that uh 
uh, 23 miles before dark probably wouldn't happen. So I would accept rides if they were offered. Now, we're not going to stick out my thumb, but if a ride stops, I decided at that point, yeah, I'll accept it. And hopefully it'd be from some people who needed to hear what I had to say. Well, I got to tell you, though, I didn't get any I didn't get any footage of the two encounters I had because, well, I was pretty much really right in the moment. Um, the first ride picked me up right about a mile after I had left the beach. Um, this uh, son and mom were driving down and they had seen me hiking up and they had seen my backpack and looked in their rear view mirror they saw the fibro sucks and decided that while on their way back up that they would talk to me and uh so they stopped and asked me what was up with my fibro sucks and i was telling them my story and whatnot and uh next thing i know i get in i'm getting in the vehicle they give me a ride all the way up to the top of the highway turns out she has fibro and she had some things she had to take care of and was having a bad fibro flare up day her body was just killing and she's like oh god i don't really want to go do a damn thing but then i see you walking up this freaking hill and you got that heavy pack on you got fibro too holy crap well shit i can go bust out my couple little things so um it was freaking awesome like she really i wish i would have got video footage um but anyways, if she happens, if you happen to see this lady, I'll remember who you are. I'll remember, I remember who you are, but I'll remember your name. If you or your son see this, tag yourself. Say, hey, what's up? Yeah, I was that person because that was pretty freaking awesome. And then I'm up on the highway. I hike for a couple of miles and this other car had stopped. Apparently they had stopped for a minute because I didn't even see them stopped. They had drove up until they could find a place to pull off. And waited for me, I don't know, a couple minutes at least to get up to them. So I get up there, I go ahead and I get, I jump in, I get the ride, and he get, dude gives me a ride all the way to my planned bed down spot. So I probably only did, I think I did like five miles that day. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, so as it turned out, he too deals with a chronic pain disease. He has CRPS, chronic regional pain syndrome. And so we were just talking about, you know, our, our various ways that we've been battling our diseases. And, um, yeah, it was freaking awesome. I gave him a couple of uh, THC cannabis pills. Uh, thank you to the angel who gifted them to me. Um, I gave yeah, I gave him a couple for, A, he gave me a ride, and B, he's... He's, he had a flight to deal with, and he was going to be stuck on a long layover, and yeah, so the cannabis pills would like totally help him get through. Uh, it was just worked out absolutely awesome. And then I went ahead and I got to, I, I walked up into the place where I was going to, where I camp, where I was planning on camping at, and looked around and uh, kind of discovered a little off to the side, this little sheltered structure thing that I could pop my tent up underneath and... Um, well, actually, I was just planning on rolling out my sleeping bag and <laughs> laying out. But anyways, yeah, I could pop my tent up underneath. And yeah, it, was, um, it wasn't a great view or anything, but it was a great safe spot. So I have found myself at an undisclosed location. Thanks, Liberty. Um, this is pretty much where I'm going to um, crash at tonight, I believe. I have structure above me that will cover me from rain, so I won't have to put up my, my um, rain cover. I shouldn't. I should only have to put up my tent to block me from uh, centipedes. <laughs> Not even sure centipedes will be up here, but I have no idea. I ain't taking no chances. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty quiet, and I can't be seen. Unless somebody actually comes up this way. And as long as I'm quiet, I should be alright. So, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to chill here for tonight. I'm going to get up early. I might only have 10 miles to do tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's only five miles to Ocean View, and then like another five miles to another trailer I think I saw that I might be able to get. So, as long as I don't run into any like gangs, and I don't think so. I mean, if it's raining at all tonight, I should be 100% safe. So, 
I'm hoping it rains. <laughs> Ain't that funny? I'm hoping it rains. Pele, bring the rain and let me be safe. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to um, roll on out. Or I'm going to roll my, my pad on out. And <clears throat> All right. I'm going to roll my pad on out and catch a few Z's. So I ended up, I pitched my tent and it turned out to be a pretty uneventful night. And then day nine uh, began at mile 25. First, I hike five miles, make my way to Ocean View, where I hit up this coffee shop for breakfast and end up hanging out for a few hours, charging up my electronics. Pretty cool people in there. Um, nothing really spectacular. Then I went ahead and um, hiked five more miles to where I had planned to bed down at and found it surrounded by a six-foot high fence, gated and locked. Um... No bueno. That was where I was planning on betting down at. Um, so I ended up hiking on. I hiked on and then the rains came. So right here is lava flow from 1857. And there's a little rain coming down directly in front center. More coming down front center. And another one front center. And look at all these wonderful rain clouds. Yay! I am not thrilled. So, yep. There's my pack. <laughs> underneath the umbrella. And more rain behind me. And, of course, right now it's actually raining on me. So, yay. I am not fucking thrilled. And I'm sitting here waiting for this damn episode to upload. Uh, takes forever, let me tell you guys. A freaking a half hour video will take all day long to upload. And the whole time, it's killing my battery. But, oh well, it's par for the course, I guess. Anyways, going back over here, gonna smoke another bowl, sitting and waiting for, you know, this video to upload. I don't want to go anywhere else because right now I have freaking 4G LTE service for the most part. So, yeah. Rain, rain, go away. And according to Google, right now it's like 15% rain and then it drops off to 9, 4, 3, 2, all the way through the rest of the night. So, this shit's supposed to be like gone in a fucking hour. I think I'm being lied to by Google. <laughs> oh well. Time for me to go ahead and smoke up a bowl. Peace and love, guys. There you see me getting all freaking aggro. Yeah, I tell you, man. Electronics and bad weather. Those those two, you yeah, God, man. I feel like I want to pull my hair out. But anyways, and then the weather and the sky is it cleared up a bit and it became so freaking beautiful this is what i got all around me right now currently really beautiful though look at that sunlight shining through that's so cool But yeah, dark clouds all around me. I got a friend of mine, or a friend rather, that I've yet to meet, um, ready to pick me up if I can make it to Volcano, which is like 44 miles. And he'll give me like, you know, I don't know, at least a night or so off the road. Um, really useful, I'm kind of soaked. So I would really like that, but I don't want to stick up my thumb. And I'm kind of hoping somebody just stops to offer me a ride. Um, otherwise, I may see him in three days. So we'll see what happens. Wish me luck, guys. And then it got dark. I wasn't able to find a good safe place to lay my head. And nobody stopped to offer me a ride. Luckily for me, 
that buddy of mine uh, turned out to be a pretty cool dude. He um, came out and drove all the way to come get me and let me crash at his place for the night. Um, yeah, yeah, I got got really lucky there. Um, I had no idea where I was going to lay my head at. As it turned out, as we drove on, I saw five miles up, I might have found a, um, like a little baseball diamond dugout something or whatever that I might have been able to go crawl up in and crash out for the night. But, um, that was still, that was still like five miles away from me. That was still like another two hours of walking in the pitch black dark. Um, I mean, it's, it's just not safe. Well, <laughs> here I'll show you. Walking the highway. Well, listen to the sounds. It's freaking awesome. When the cars ain't coming. Where I was gonna bed down at tonight um, was completely blocked off by like gate and high gate and a high fence, and I just like completely screwed. So it wasn't happening. And. <sighs> trying to walk this at night not too wise as you can see because you can't see but at least well right now I have um, on a, a five foot shoulder there's been times moments where my shoulder has only been uh, my shoulder has only been like a few inches Got some really cool Christmas lights up ahead. Let me see if I can zoom in. All right, time for me to get back to walking. Oof. So my buddy picked me up, took me back to his place and gave me a safe place to crash at. And then the next day, he uh, drove me into, we drove into Hilo. So I can hit up a grocery store, grab a, grab a little grub, and then he drove me around to a couple of different parks. Uh, first one was a Japanese garden. Oh, that was so freaking cool. And then, uh, yeah, there's a few other parks. I don't remember all their names, but right there in Hilo. So my buddy, um, we're in Hilo. We stopped at uh, stopped at a grocery store to grab some frozen pizza or whatever to have for lunch. And this right here, I believe, is what they call a monkey pod tree. It provides tons of shade. Oh my God! Look at all these leaves. This is freaking cool. This is one cool ass tree. Anyways, uh, this is like a Japanese uh, garden park. Oh, it's just freaking beautiful. Anyways, yeah, I'm in Hilo, and uh, my buddy decided to swing by here on his way on the way back to his place. We go ahead and have lunch. Yeah, this is just freaking cool. I haven't seen any parks like this. Um, maybe maybe Golden Gate has one. I know they got a Japanese uh, garden that I haven't been to. If it didn't rain here, it'd be a great place to stealth camp. Oh my god, I'd love waking up here in the morning. Oh well. Alright guys, time for uh, me to do a little bit of medicating and... 
because we're way out here. I don't really know. I don't really have it really set up to where I'm able to sit here and like do a whole little smoke session on video. So I'm going to go medicate and uh, I will catch you guys next time on the flip side. Much love, much peace. Wow, just look at this. So freaking beautiful. Look how clear the water is too, guys. Wow. Here. Come, smoke with me. I'll show you magic. Much love and much peace. Alright, time for me to sit down and blaze up to this awesome view.
So, as you can see, uh, the adventure's not always gone as I'd wanted it to or as I'd planned, but I've gotten to meet some really great people and gotten to go to and visit some really beautiful parks. So, definitely not lost at all. And, uh, yeah, I got in a place up in some really great spots, too, I gotta say. Um, yeah, and in the next episode, I meet up with um, Dale, who's actually friends with um, some of my crew from Seattle. So, uh, stay tuned. That, that, was, uh, that was just freaking awesome, freaking amazing. All right, guys, much love, much peace.